What you're about to see in this video is just some bit more uh, flight testing I did with the Hubson Zeno on the new firmware package 1.0.48 and uh, this was all taken at my uh, uh, job where I work. It's the uh, Sheets corporate campus in Pennsylvania and um, there were some flight issues within the flight today and they're in this video. I didn't edit anything out. I kept all the important stuff in, kept the video short, um, but I do point out uh, the problems that I did find uh, within my flight today. So I, I could have put together a real nice edited uh, pretty video for you, but main purpose here is just to show you what you could possibly expect within this firmware. Uh, doesn't mean it's necessarily going to happen to all of you. Everybody seems to have their uh, own little uh, characteristics or no issues whatsoever, some people claim. So uh, I'm just showing you what I found within mine. And uh, if you watch the entire video, uh, I do point out uh, the issues that I did have. So you'll find some disconnect and some toilet bowling and some little issues there. So uh, watch the video and uh, watch it all the way through to the end and um, you'll be able to see these flight characteristics. Thanks. All right, here I did auto takeoff and we're, you're gonna see a descent and some a little bit of a crazy characteristic right here. Not sure what happened there, but I did a new calibration and did auto take off again and it settled down quite nicely so now we're going to just go and fly but watch the video and you're going to see a pretty significant disconnect and uh, then a second flight
All right, so right here is where you see the disconnect. And um, at this point, I'm about 4,000 feet away. It's uh, not in line of sight whatsoever, so I can't see it. Um, there is nothing on my FPV as far as uh, an image. It, it just was like a freeze frame with the last co uh, coordinates. Um, it wasn't displaying power or anything like that. So it was a complete disconnect. And um, the important thing here is I did nothing. Uh, I didn't panic. I didn't start pressing buttons or turning off the controller or doing anything to, to make it worse. Um, so I just basically crossed my fingers and waited it out. And um, what happens is it just sits here for a good while. And uh, one thing you'll see is that it gets its bearings as far as it realizes, okay, we got to kick in to return to home. And uh, it starts that sequence by uh, making a turn. So right here you see it starts to turn. And now it's almost like it's just thinking about it. It's pointing in the right direction, but still sitting there. So it has not decided to move yet, but it does start to move and you're going to see that it comes back and return to home uh, automatically. Notice the return to home is pointing towards the left and if you look you're, you'll start to see a toilet bowl motion develop.
Now here's the second flight and um, this one was much more successful. We didn't have any disconnects whatsoever. And uh, that first return to home um, and the return to home after this flight, um, I just want to note that they did both land within two, three feet of uh, the point of takeoff. So uh, the only significant problem is you'll notice when it's flying, it has that pointing to the right crab walk. So enjoy the flight. Mm -hmm.